Hi, this is Michelle Rumschlag, Naturalist, and welcome to Virtual Experiences with the Hancock Park District. It's Friday, so we're hitting the trails. Today you're joining me at Blanchard River Nature Preserve, a park that we have about 46 acres with a nice loop that goes through, and wildflowers is what it's about right now. So we're gonna learn about a few things are here, and you might notice we've got a lot of noise around us. We're hearing some Canada geese, I'm hearing woodpeckers, uh, gray tree frogs, so there's a lot of activity happening. So some of the wildflowers that we have, the first couple ones I want to point out, um, the kind of lighter color are called ruin anemone, and all these flowers are native, and so they're going to be out this time of year. Some start in late March, here through April, um, and maybe go into May, and maybe even into June. But don't delay, because some of these only have maybe a week or two of bloom time. So you definitely want to get out now to see these. So it has a really light, kind of a white or even lightish pink color, not very tall. Um, they only get about maybe four to five, six inches tall. And they're kind of covering the ground here. So that's called Rue Anemone. The one next to it is one of our trilliums. And so this is called Toad Trillium or Toad Shade Trillium. And it's smaller compared to some of our other trilliums that we have. It has a kind of burgundy, almost brown colored bloom and you can see the leaves are a little bit mottled they have some coloring to it and like the name implies trillium or tri things are in groups of three so the leaves are in groups of three and then also the bloom the bloom is said to have a foul smell i myself didn't check that out um, but because of that foul smell it's going to attract different pollinators so things like beetles and flies will get to it rather than maybe butterflies and bees. So that's kind of found throughout here. So that's our toad trillium. As we're walking along the trail, we have kind of a plethora of large trillium. So those are the ones that have the white blooms. The large trillium is also the state wildflower. And so it's just kind of blooming everywhere here. You can see again, still has the groupings of three, just like the toad did, but it's a lot bigger. Of course, the petals are white and a lot showier, so pretty easy to find. You might have to search a little bit to find uh, the toad trillium here along the trail. We also have um, a lot of these purple flowers here are called wild phlox. And so you can tell it's a phlox flower because it has petals in groupings of five. Sometimes there's things like a false phlox, um, like a dame's rocket, and those only have groupings of four. But again, this kind of lilac purplish color and again, found really throughout a lot of the park that's right here. One thing that just has some leaves that isn't blooming right now, we have, um, there's mayapple that's around, but a little plant down here, kind of along the trail, we have a nice patch. It's called hepatica or liverwort. And so this is a neat plant because back in the 1600s, they thought that if a plant's leaves had the shape of your body part, so I guess they thought the liver looked this way, that this plant had um, components to it that would help fix ailments of the liver. So again, it doesn't do that. That's something from hundreds of years ago, but that's where it gets its name, one of its names as liverwort. So again, not blooming just yet along there. Um, a lot of our seedling trees that we're seeing here are our Ohio Buckeyes that we've got growing. Again, most things have greened up, kind of popped out. Um, we had that that kind of frost or that snow last week so it could have affected some of the wildflowers that maybe were blooming and then it just kind of stunned them or you know even kind of stopped them from growing during that time so a great time to get out while the weather is nice um, not too many mosquitoes out just yet so you'll definitely want to come out and hit the trail so join us on monday at one o'clock for our discover stories thanks for joining me and have a great day